Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add in an active speaker volume indicator into your voice or video call and application. So we've probably all already seen this functionality where inside of a video call, anybody who's talking gets highlighted. So everybody knows who the active speaker is. It's very important to add this specifically if somebody may be turns off their camera. We need to see if they're actually talking. Uh, if we're in a voice calling room like what we currently have here, we just have our user profiles or avatars and we can't actually see each other. So it's important to highlight that active speaker. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and build this out. And this video is actually part of a mini series that we're working on with our voice chat rooms here that we're building out. So if you're not part of that series, it's okay. You can still follow along here. I'll recap some of the code and then we'll add in this functionality. It's actually pretty simple here. So. Uh, this is the application that we currently have. We just built in basic audio calling. If I enter a room, here is our user and my mic is actually on. Don't worry about this red icon. That right now is not working. So this user is talking. If I add another user, we're about to hear a really uh, ugly echo here. So I'm gonna be speaking and then I'll turn that off. So you'll notice that the users were the same. We just have this white border and I wanna actually highlight that user. So that's very important to add. We currently don't have this functionality. So we'll go ahead and leave this room. And if you want the source code for this, this is actually linked up in the video description. And in this series, we are actually on number three. So go ahead and open this up. This will be all the source code to the end of this specific video. And for anybody that wants the written guide, go to guide.md. So this is the written guide. I'm gonna follow along with this. And I'll just kind of explain how this is done with Agora. It's actually very simple. So first of all, we need to, uh, I actually opened up the wrong one, sorry, we're on video number two. So we're gonna go to guide.md and we actually first need to enable a volume indicator. So by default, this is not enabled. So we're gonna go to our client object and we're simply gonna call enable volume indicator. So this is gonna enable it by default. Our volume indicator will now trigger every two seconds. So that's when we get that reading. So we first need to enable it. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in this indicator event handler, and we're gonna go ahead and respond to this. So this enables a volume indicator, and here is where we can actually go ahead and get those volume readings. So very easy to do. We'll go ahead and go through those volumes, and this is the actual logic that we're gonna add. Don't worry about this yet. We'll code this up in a second, but essentially we enable it, and then we have the event listener, and this is the customization for that. So let's go ahead and actually go back into our code and start building this out. So what I'm actually gonna do is copy the word volume indicator just because it's hard for me to spell uh, words that are a little bit longer while I'm recording and talking. So we'll actually just go ahead and add this under the handle user left method. So let's go ahead and do let enable or init volume indicator. So we're just gonna wrap this into a function. We don't actually need to do this, but I wanna make sure that it only gets initialized when we join our room. So whenever we initialize init RTC. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into a function. Let's go ahead and wrap it. And right away, I'm gonna initialize the volume indicator by firing this off when we join a room. And this method gets triggered when we submit that form or when we click that button. And what we wanted to do here is first enable that volume indicator and then actually respond to certain volume levels. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna call the enable volume indicator method on our RTC client. So when we created our client object, we called it RTC client, we set it here, and then we called create client. So we're gonna access that, and then we're actually gonna go ahead and trigger it. So it's RTC client dot enable volume indicator. I wanna make sure I spelt that right. So I could just jump to the source code real quick and I'll just grab this. It's just one of those words that kind of throws me off while I'm recording and talking. Yeah, it did have a misspell. So enable audio volume indicator. So capital A right there. And that's gonna enable it for me. So once I enable it, let's go ahead and actually respond to it. So we're gonna go ahead and add in that event listener and we're gonna to go to our RTC client and we're gonna to respond to the volume indicator event. So this is gonna go ahead and just send volume reader uh, readings through. We're just gonna do volume dash indicator. So on volume indicator, let's go ahead and respond to this. And we're just gonna go ahead and get all the volumes on every single reading. So what I'm gonna do here is actually just go ahead and do console.log and let's just take a look at the volumes here. So that's gonna be plural. Let's get these volumes and let's just take a look at what this does. 
So this should fire off every two seconds. So that's the default setting and we're gonna customize that. So if I go to my application here, let's go ahead and do inspect element. Let's open up our console and that's not gonna get triggered until we enter a room. And we should see some kind of reading happen every two seconds. So there we go, volumes is right there. So let me actually zoom in here. So again, the count is every two seconds, I'll refresh it. We'll enter the room and we'll just add in volumes. So we'll wait one, two, and then it goes again. So when we look through volumes, this is the volume level for every single user. Right now we only have one user, it's index zero. We are gonna have more users, those are gonna be those volumes. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and iterate through each volume level and actually take a look at that. So back in our code, let's go ahead and go through this volumes array. So again, every single user that speaks every two seconds, it will give us an entire array of every user's volume level. So let's actually go ahead and loop through those volumes. So we're gonna call volumes dot for each and we're gonna loop through all the volumes. So we're just gonna go ahead and do volume. We'll make sure to get the volume of the current user. So we're gonna iterate through it. And I just wanna console out the volume itself. So this is gonna be an object. I wanna see what this looks like and then we can actually access these values. So we'll just go ahead and do console.log and let's get the volume level, volume, and let's get the actual volume itself. So we're gonna see the array of volumes and then the volume. So we'll save that. Let's try it one more time. We'll enter the room. Every two seconds, we'll see the reading. And here we go, we see the volumes and volume. And if we look at volume itself, we should see an object, let's see. Oh, I need a console out volume, so that needs to be the object. So one is gonna be an array and the other one's gonna be the object. We'll enter the room and let's see. Okay, so the volume level is at 44 right now. I'm talking, now it's at 80, 68, and if I stop talking, now it's at 40. So we have to kind of read that resting rate. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna take out this array and I wanna change the indicator and the, the speed at which it checks. Right now it's every two seconds and that's a little slow because I can say something in a second or make a sound, drop a phone, and it should pick up those volumes. So I should be able to indicate that, but in two seconds there's too much time in between. So what we're gonna do is actually within this volume indicator, let's go ahead and access the Agora RTC class here. And we're gonna call this set parameter method here. Like that, did I spell it right? Parameter, yeah, okay, I think I spelled it right. Now we're gonna see this warning here, especially if you're using TypeScript. And uh, basically this is still an internal method. It hasn't been put into our documentation yet. Uh, it does work, but you might see a warning at some point, this should go away depending on when you're watching it but we are able to do that. I just wanted to let you know. So even I'm seeing a warning right now, right here, it says it does not exist in the I, I Agora RTC SDK. So it's still gonna work. Let's go ahead and continue with it. And with this, I'm just gonna copy and paste this next section. It's Agora volume indication interval. And we're gonna set that to 200 milliseconds. So right now it's every two seconds. We wanna set that to 200 or 200 milliseconds. So now if I enter a room, we're gonna see this speed go up a lot, so it's really fast. We're seeing it every 200 milliseconds, and that volume level is lingering at around 70 to 90. And what I have to do is figure out when is a user speaking, at what volume level do we read it, and indicate that a user is talking, and when do we indicate that a user is not talking. So technically, if I remain quiet, there's still gonna be outside noise that won't necessarily be heard, but will still be picked up. So if I go completely silent for about three seconds here, So we're lingering at about 40 to 30. That's the volume level if you're watching this here. Uh, and then anything above, I would say 50, kind of indicates that I'm talking. So really you have to figure out that interval and how it's gonna read your audio and then set it for yourself. Now there's different ways of doing it and what I'm gonna do is say anything over 50 indicates that I'm speaking. So you really have to customize this. Uh, I know one way is to basically do what I just said and read anything over 50 as an active speaker and other, uh, other ways of implementing this is basically just to get the loudest speaker in the room and only highlight that user. But personally, I feel like every user should be highlighted who's talking. So let's go ahead and do this. So what we're gonna do is run a check here when we're gonna get that currently active speaking user. And remember, we have access to their ID. So I can actually just go ahead and get their UID and we'll just do the actual user. So we'll just do volume 
dot uid so we're going to use this uid parameter to figure out what user is talking and then highlight that specific user so we'll enter again okay for some reason the uid is undefined and that's because it took volumes again so i made that mistake twice already and we'll just enter so we see user 1608 is at the volume level of you know whatever that is in each reading it's too fast for me to go with it so we see the user so let's go ahead and actually highlight this user now so what, what i'll do here is i want to add in a quick check here so in this for each loop what we're going to do is we're going to check every single user and we're just going to go ahead and query first of all the user's wrapper here so we're just going to go ahead and do document dot get element by id and this is kind of like that quick impl implementation if you want to add your own uh warning errors or security checks here you can do that uh, or at least more better air handling that's what i meant to say uh, you can add that in i'm just going to go ahead and query the user wrapper and then update it so we're just going to stick to that so at this point if i look at each user's wrapper we have user and then i have the rtc uid so we're just going to grab it by the class and not the id and i'll explain later why we're not using the id we're just going to grab this user class here so let's go ahead and do that and we'll bring this down here we'll just do get elements by class and let's just go ahead and try to grab this user so we have user and then the rtc uid which at this point is going to be the volume uid and we're just going to grab that element and we want to get the first index so there should only be one of these users uh, inside of our application so we're, we're just getting that first one so we get an actual object and not an html collection and we're just going to check the volume level so we're just going to go ahead and check a condition and we're going to say if volume dot level and it keeps doing volumes so volume dot level let's type this out a little slower if this is greater than or equal to 50 again you're going to need to figure out what works for you and set this uh, if the user's volume level is equal to 50 or over what i want to do is go ahead and get the item and then we'll just do dot style and we'll just set the border color and i have a hex here that indicates a certain level of green that i like and i'll just bring this in and that's going to be a green color so if the user level is over 50 we'll just set it to that else then what we're going to do is just go ahead and do the same here and we're going to set the user color back to white okay so we're going to go ahead and put it here if for some reason we can't query that user id we'll uh, we'll see if there's an error and let's just go ahead and test this out so when i join a room it's highlighting it so as i'm talking it's highlighting it as i stop talking and i'll just zoom in uh, it's going to go back to white perfect and that's working so that's exactly what we wanted so what i could do is just add in a try catch for some reason if this isn't working i can probably just remove this so i'll just comment out that console and we'll just do try make sure that we don't have an error maybe the user volume reader starts working before the element gets loaded to the dom for whatever reason i'm just going to go ahead and put in a try catch here so we'll just do catch error and for now i'm just going to do nothing so we'll just put in a comment there and we'll just say put your error here okay so we're gonna go ahead and check it let's go ahead and test this out we'll enter a room okay and we're all set and that's it for the volume indicator video so now we know who the active speaker is it's working how we want it you can customize that again one way of doing that is simply just to find the loudest volume in the room and read that indicator and highlight that user so i'll leave that up to you maybe i'll make a video on specifically implementing that method later